This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to continue discussing how to make your layouts interactive. If you'd like to follow along, go to your file menu, open, and in the sample files folder, scroll down to 1802. Creating buttons will take you places and just click open. If you haven't already switched to your interactive workspace, make sure to do so. Being that we're talking about buttons, let's open the buttons panel. And I just wanted to mention that there are lots of sample buttons that actually come with InDesign. And if you want to use these, all you have to do is click on them and drag them into your layout and then move them anywhere you want. And it has a lot of the button functionality already existing, which of course you can change. Let me get this panel out of the way because we're actually going to create buttons totally from scratch. I have some arrows that I wanted to make into buttons. Now, these are actually on a master page. So let's click on the pages panel to open it and then double click on the master page and go back to our buttons panel. I'm going to get my pages panel out of the way and go to my buttons panel. Now, how do I make these into buttons? They're just regular objects. They're just triangles that were made in InDesign. They're not buttons at all. To make them into a button, all I have to do is actually apply an action to them, and they will automatically be converted into a button. So if I click this little plus mark, it's actually a pop-up menu asking me what I want the button to do. In this particular case, since it's facing back, I want it to go to the previous page. And it made it into a button that's going to go to the previous page. I want to add an additional state to this button. This is the normal state, the way it would appear when I'm not going over the top of it with my mouse. I want to set up a rollover state, how the button would appear when I go over the top of it with my mouse. All I'm going to do is click on the little empty eye and it's going to turn it on. But I want to set up an appearance for this rollover state. How can I do that? Well, let's go under our FX pop-up menu in the control panel and go to inner shadow. And I'm just going to use the defaults for inner shadow and just click OK. And you can see my two states now. There's the normal state and there's the rollover state. So whenever I mouse over this arrow, it will look like it's inset. Let me go back to normal. Now, all I have to do is the same thing with the other button. I'm going to click on the other object, and to make it into a button, I'm going to click on the plus mark for the actions pop-up and go to go to next page. And it automatically made it into a button that's going to take you to the next page. I'm going to turn on the rollover view, and once again, go under my FX pop-up to inner shadow and use the default settings. So now I have my two buttons. Let's see if they're actually going to work. I'm going to get my buttons panel out of the way and go to my pages panel and double click on page one to navigate there and get my pages panel out of the way. Now I want to preview these buttons. I want to make sure that they're actually working. There's a panel called the Preview Panel. If I click on that, it's going to open this little tiny panel. But I actually want to see a big preview. So I'm going to go to the lower left-hand corner of this panel and just click and drag out a much larger panel. And now to really see if it's going to work, I want to go under the Options menu of the panel and go to Preview Document. And it's going to go through the document setting up all of the pages with the buttons. Let's see if it works. If I go over the top of the next page button, you can see it's getting highlighted with that inset inner shadow. Let me click on it. It went to the next page. So it does work. 
really kind of nice. Let me go back now. I'm going to click the back arrow and it goes to the previous page. So in a matter of seconds, I set up a couple of buttons that are going to take us from page to page to page. We'll continue discussing making layouts interactive in the next lesson.